Good afternoon. I'm Sangunan from Sofaram Seminary. Uh, this afternoon, we are going to learn about Enoch and his son, Methuselah. Uh, it is from Genesis 5.22, Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah 300 years and begot sons and daughters. Uh, this photo uh, that I, I upload to photo, left one, the photo of Annunciation, announcement by Angel Gabriel to Mary about the birth of Jesus. And then stained glass picture is the picture of Methuselah. So Methuselah, meaning of Methuselah, okay, the meth, methu means mut, the meaning death, according to modern Hebrew. Death plus shalach, he shall send, or he sent. He sent what? He he's going to send what? A uh, flood. So Methuselah. So the meaning, uh, he the, he's going to send the death. That's the meaning of Methuselah. Why the the father Enoch gave him this kind of name? So we must figure out what kind of death. If God is going to send death, then we must try to understand what kind of death. But there's no explanation about that. Okay, it is computed that Methuselah died in the year of catastrophe, global deluge, global flood water. Methuselah Muth means death. Shalach means he sent or he shall send. The shalach is from the root verb shalach, he sent. A past form sent could be interpreted as a prophetic past tense. So he will send or he shall send. It's about uh, what's going to happen in the future. So it is called prophetic past tense. So the, his, his name, Methuselah, is telling about, intimating about the deluge or great flood. Okay, Methuselah lived 969 years, the longest life. He is the one who lived the longest years, longest than any other man ever lived on the earth. Okay, now you are looking at the two photos, upper one and the photos in the inside the city and then next one uh, is an overall view of the city and the surrounding field. Now, it, it has happened several days ago in China. Now, China is suffering from the great flood. Many people drown and then up to three-story high building also flooded. So they are in suffering. But we must understand this. Some, uh, some became victim of flood, but some are guided by God and they are protected. In Amos 3, 7, it is written in this way, Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servant, the prophets. So, uh, frequently, 
when a tragedy, great tragedy happened, then the prayerful woman, prayerful man, they are going to uh, usually they uh, see vision about the warning sign, about the warning message. Uh, so great, the flood water is going to happen, or great, the earthquake is going to happen. So and they see the vision with the warning word. Right? This is really what the devotee Christians are experiencing. So uh, now we are living in the pandemic situation and then many abnormal there, the rain shower, abnormal earthquake. But we, we must believe in this. Surely the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servant, the prophet. So we must try to receive prophetic message since so that is the way we can prepare or we can protect ourselves or we, we can uh, lead other people to move or to relocate in safe ground in this time. So what kind of death we might imagine from the name of Methuselah? Ancient Hebrew describes a kind of death concretely. Muth means to die or death from the name Methuselah. According to the ancient Hebrew picture letter, it is depicted as follows. Mem, as in Methu, Mem. Okay, picture, waterway picture, it is referring to flooded water. And then Vav, 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 okay, two Vavas. Uh, this is picture of the tent pack, tent pack was straight, the fishing hook, or big nail. Uh, it's like many tent packs drowned human bodies packed down in the water like many tent packs on the ground. Do you see the picture? The human, human being is about to drowning. They are floating. They are looking like many tent packs. Okay, the final alphabet Tav, Mat, Mat, Mut, Tav, Tav is, is cross mark, according to ancient picture, the cross mark or ki in Greek marks on the precious things or human beings. Or if it is a final alphabet, so final alphabet may mean the end or completion or fruit or death. So what kind of death? Precious mark of human tav and packed down like many tent packs, vav vav, where in the flooded water. So uh, this picture letter of the Methuselah clearly describes drowning human being, many drowning human being in the water, in the flooded water. So uh, his name. It's not usual name. His name carries prophetic message. Okay, now we are looking at many fossils. Fossil, fossil of the cedar tree or pine tree, and then fossil of dragonfly, and fossil of shrimp. Uh, they became fossil in this very perfect condition. So there are sure evidences of great flood of Noah among uh, many fossils. The form of land layer, okay, the below, it is the it is Colorado State in, in America. This kind of form of land layers 
is formed in a short period, not throughout long period, but very short period, all at the same time over the vast area, not by ocean sediment, not by ocean slow, a very long year sediment process, but by rapid flood waters. Okay, many fossils showing perfect condition of things prove that they were formed suddenly without long hours of decomposition, decaying process. Okay, this dragonfly shrimp and the cedar leaves, uh, they covered, we, we might assume they covered by landslide suddenly. Landslide and then uh, pressed down and became stone, became fossil. Oh. So it proves that they became fossil and suddenly. In this kind of the fossil it was made suddenly because if it is uh, formed uh, throughout slowly moving sediment process they are decayed okay the body of insect is dissolved and decayed shrimp also dissolved and decayed decayed even animals body also decayed okay? in a year all the bones also decayed but they are very suddenly by the rapid rain slide because during the, the great flood of Noah, the eruption of the subterranean water was happened, strong earthquake also happened, heavy downfall happened together. It was a tragedy, catastrophe. Only the Noah's family members were delivered. Others all, all are drowned, both animals and human beings. Okay, so we must consider decaying process. Whatever animal or the, the, the plants or trees, they die, and they are supposed to decay, decay. They pass, they pass through the process of uh, dissolving, decaying, decomposition process. But this kind of fossil shows that without the process of decaying, they are suddenly okay, covered and pressed down. Okay, only humans enjoy a better food under a water vapor canopy protected the earth from harmful radiation of the sunbeam, x-ray, ultraviolet, etc. before the flood. Okay, it is good uh, to move around under the sunshine, but there's a harmful things. If your skin is exposed too much, uh, especially in the seaside, if your skin, tendon skin exposed with the sizzling sunbeam, then the, your, your skins are exposed to harmful x-ray, ultraviolet. So, uh, you might suffer diseases. But uh, before the flood, scientifically, we believe that there were water vapor canopy, vapor canopy in the sky, covered with a canopy, evaporated water canopy. So that kind of uh, space layer, sky layer, has the function to filter, to, the filtering effect, fil filtering role, filtering uh, harmful X-rays, ultraviolet, and etc. So, uh, before great flood, the human being lived in better condition, and they enjoyed uh, the good food without contamination. Okay, human beings were originally to have everlasting life, were originally to have everlasting life, but 
sin was introduced into the world by Adam and Eve. Its influence became greater with each generation, and God progressively, God progressively shortened human life, particularly after the flood. Before the flood, God proclaimed against simple people. The, the lifespan of human beings, simple human beings, will be limited within 120 years. It means uh, for God to stop the simple action of human being is to put limit to the lifespan. So the, the righteous family genealogy shows that they lived long years, 900, 800, 700, 600 years long. But uh, the descendant of Cain, the wicked ones, uh, they were not able to live long. Before the great flood, their lifespan shortened down to 120 years only. Okay, so this is the life condition. A dinosaur, you know, do you see the dinosaur? The size of dinosaur, very tall. And then the size of the big tree. Do you see big tree? This is the bottom stump. Two children compared to size of two children. Very big, very big uh, tree trunk on the bottom. And then it is very tall. But because it is too tall, so I cut, I removed the, the middle part. So before great flood, so life condition, the human environment was very good. So even trees can grow tall, then animals, size of animals was very tall. And the human lifespan was very old. Nearly they lived nearly 1000 years. Okay, so let me show you geological formation by quick calamities. Okay, uh, the left side, the top place and left side. There are two fish, one big fish about to swallow small fish. The moment uh, it's about to eat, about it's about to swallow small fish, then catastrophe happen. Landslide happened and then they covered immediately and then pressed down, uh, they became a stone. Okay, next one, a kind of dinosaur also. And then uh, third one, cockroach, insect, humble insect, cockroach. Cockroach also became a fossil. Okay, and then the, uh, what is attractive? You see, according to the non-Christian scientists, dinosaur live ahead of human appearance, but you know, according to this fossil, uh, do you see human footprint in the middle? Human footprint, human footprint, okay, and then footprint of dinosaur overlapped, which explains that human beings were living with many dinosaurs before the great flood. Okay, then then the layers, layers of the earth, okay, wrinkled because of the uh, Extortion of the earth happened by a strong earthquake. And then uh, the right side, what you see, there's a big tree trunk nailed down. Okay, according to non Christian the scientists, they say this kind of thick the land layer is formed take more than 1,000 years, uh, 10,000 years, okay, they imagine in that way. But you know, uh, this kind of formation, 
it happened immediately. The moment big tree trunk okay, nailed, and then suddenly many soils also filled in together. So and then pressed down, and it became this kind of a fossil, and the land layers were formed. So the uh, what we can see on Earth in in many ways, many proofs showed that the catastrophe landslide during the time of uh, Noah. The land suffered twisting, conversion, rapid landslide, rapid flowing water, and many people drowned. And then, you know, standing tree trunk, big giant tree trunks remained. You see, giant big tree trunks also the giant big tree trunks also became a fossil. Now, according to the Christian uh, scientist, the petroleum, petroleum, what made petroleum? The pile of the big, big side animals. Okay, the petroleum oil came from the fat portion of the big side animals they piled together by landslide and then it formed it became a petroleum and the coal chuck coal also coal mine many lands many trees piled up piled up and then covered by the landslide then it became the this coal. So there are so many geological evidences attest that the great flood happened, really happened. Okay, the apocryphal, apocryphal about, about the end times, end days. The apocryphal book of Enoch claims that Methuselah is designated by God as a priest, not javelin holder, not dart holder, not spear holder. I have read some scholars just imagine uh, Methuselah as a spear holder. It's like a, a gatekeeper. As he passed away, the gate, gate is open the power of death uh, they are attacked in that way they assume. But according to Enoch, apocryphal book, Methuselah is designated, is described as a priest of God. Okay, in 17th century, Midrash Sefer, Hayashar, book of Yashar, describes Methuselah attempted to persuade the people of the earth to return to godly life. So he was a priest, he was an evangelist. That's Methuselah. For God planned to bring great flood. Why? Methuselah became evangelical because he was so sure that God is going to bring the great flood soon. Methuselah lived until the ark was built, and then, according to uh, biblical scientists, he passed away seven days ahead of great flood. So, the what made the Enoch to become more devoted one to God? What made Methuselah become evangelical? Uh, because something happened. Okay, so what might have motivated Enoch to walk with God? Okay, same question. What might have motivated Methuselah to walk with God? It could be the dream of forthcoming conception of Methuselah, which intimate that 
he was not as so much pious till the birth of Methuselah. So have you ever heard about the dream of conception? Dream of conception. When mothers, mostly mothers, say that uh, they had a wonderful dream, they had a special dream uh, on the night of the conception. Some women they saw a, a big fruit in a dream. Some mothers say uh, she saw a big fish and catch tried to catch. Uh, and then some other woman they say they saw many stars in heaven. And my mother saw a, a dream of. Uh, conception of me, she saw a sun in the noontime. Sun was falling down over her. So she was thinking that uh, she might be burned by the sun. She, saw, she plunged into the river. So that was the uh, kinds of the dream of the conception. Uh, among non christian they say, uh, they saw uh, pigs, many pigs, enter into the house. Well, some mothers say uh, she saw a anaconda, very big snake, enter into the house. Uh, that was the uh, dream of conception. So, the dream of conception is different between non-Christian and Christian. For Christian, the devoted woman, prayerful woman, uh, because of the prophetic dream of conception, uh, they are so sure that uh, her child is going to be good Christian, going to be grown up church leaders in that way. Okay, second passage. Enoch's godly life seemed to be motivated by the prophetic announcement of birth of Methuselah as the birth of John Baptist. And do, do you remember the story John Baptist? Before the conception, uh, the father of John Baptist also received the prophetic message. Jesus also, Jesus, uh, the, his mother and father receive the prophetic message together with dreams, holy dreams. Samson's birth also, Samson's, Samson's birth was happened after receiving annunciation, the angelic announcement about his birth and his the life, his mission throughout the life. So that kind of experience made the Christians uh, to become more devoted to God, to become more evangelic, because uh, that kind of experience is so wonderful. And the, the devoted Christians are so much uh, blessed, so much touched by such a holy dream, prophetic dream. Then in that way, the people are motivated to become more uh, evangelic, to become more devoted in the sight of God. So Enoch, we call that he's the prophet of God. Enoch, the prophet of God, is foretold the coming judgment of God. That's why he named the, his son Methuselah. So his the dream of birth uh, seemed to have relationship with the coming judgment of God by a flood. So you know prophesied, Behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convict all that are ungodly among them, all the ungodly deeds and of all the defiant words against him. So I introduced the photo, you know, the angel appeared in dreams, and then also both. While the man of God is sleeping, the, 
the angel appeared and announced. It is called the Annunciation of the Holy Birth. So I wish you mothers desire to experience having a holy dream, holy dream of the conception. So as mother become more devoted, then mostly the mothers are having their holy dreams of conception. Then uh, the role of the children uh, become great, become devoted as the mothers receive the annunciation of conception. So this is the another Christian secret. Okay, it is somewhat mysterious, but it is true. So among devoted Christians, and this kind of sharing testimony is very popular. So, and, uh, we Christians believe that God intervenes even individual life, or God makes special plan to use a specific person for the kingdom of God. So. May God bless you. May God use you. May God bless your children to be devoted one, uh, like uh, Methuselah and Enoch in this time of pandemic. So God is alive. Still, God is anointing the devoted one and prayerful one uh, to give hope in the midst of pandemic. Okay, God is so good. God is almighty and the heavenly peace, only heavenly peace is the way we must be survived. In Jesus' name, Shalom. See you again. Later on.